Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Do Hangus and Oops from IV Gaming. And we are here with Halo 2 Lasso on Regret, if that's the right phraseology. Yeah, uh, this is what, 7? So, a couple away from Grave Mind. I'm looking forward to that one. Never heard of it. <laughs> In the beginning here, you want to jump up to the right. And uh, 2 to 4 elites will spawn depending on how quickly you kill them. And you guys can both get your overshields pretty quickly. And then wait on the right hand side and this guy should charge your position and smack him in the back a few times because he can't get assassinated obviously obviously and then there'll be some uh, grunts on the left up here and some jackal snipers and you just kind of want to you want to concentrate on the grunts first and then slowly take out the snipers once you get killed a few times from the snipers you'll You'll know where they all spawn and everything. They stay in the same spot from checkpoint to checkpoint, so. Trial and error is what they call that. I feel like we did this mission like four years ago. Like, it feels like forever ago we did this. It was pretty... Uh, four years is a little bit of an exaggeration, but not <laughs> too, too much. It was like 2016, you know. Yeah, 2016. When when Halo 2 this. was brand new. Yeah, yeah, back when it first came out in 2016. <laughs> So, you want to talk about our uh, <laughs> issues with this part? With the f***ing grenade jump? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we suck. We're trying to make this grenade jump, which is coming up here, I think, right? Um, yeah, it's so, shortly. Yeah. So, the grenade jump you're going to see, you can do it fine. It's no problem. We couldn't do it. We ended up having to quit the game, or we quit the game because we couldn't do it, and we're practicing on, like, easy difficulty or something, and we couldn't get it. We couldn't even get close, and it was the most frustrating we've ever been in our entire lives. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, the easy part, I think, was because we didn't have the right skulls on to amplify the explosions, but we weren't even getting close when we were doing it on here, and I think it's just, like, we were getting so frustrated, and I think that's part of the problem. We got what I refer to as the yips. I did, uh, I did leave that jackal alive so I could get my shields back from him. It's not really necessary, but, uh... If you want to do it, you can. And we found that jumping on that railing and then jumping over to the gondola here is the easiest part. And you want to have your friend, or one of you guys, throw a grenade straight up there so it lands where I'm throwing my grenades there. And you want to jump back to the gondola here. And you said you uh, have your just, friend? Oh, go ahead. I'll let you go. Well, no, I was just going to say, uh, pay attention to where you're standing on the ground, where Dehanga stood on the ground, and uh, throw the grenades straight up from there. And what I was going to say is you said your friend, and I was just going to make, like... I was just going to say, like, if you find someone who's really good at Halo, even if they're a f you can do it with them, they don't have to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, here, you want, here you want to have uh, your team, or your friend, or teammate, <laughs> melee the whole time, or jump so you don't get a checkpoint, and the other gondola won't stop and spawn enemies. Once it starts moving again, you can stop uh, meleeing, and you can... Just proceed along this little route. You don't have to fight the hunters then, and you don't have to fight those enemies on the other gondola. I don't remember this mission, like what the conclusion is. Uh, you kill Regret. Is he floating around in his little thing? Yeah. Oh, that's this mission? This one sucked. <laughs> this one was awful. We did this forever. Yeah, it was, uh, I had to go pick up the woman. Yeah, oh, yeah. We were, we were racing against time. And, yeah, so instead of picking just, her up and us waiting, we made her wait, like, after two hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I was watching my, like, messages, or I looked back at my, like, timestamps on the messages, and I told her we were at the final section, and then, like, two hours later, <laughs> I went and picked her up. All right, on my way. Um, here, you just want to throw grenades to kind of disrupt the jackals from watching you and you just want to make your way up to the top here i didn't take the most efficient path but i took a path that worked for me so oh i was just gonna say i don't remember doing that at all i didn't so that's why <laughs> and then you want to pick up the fuel rod up here and uh use your other guns to just take out these jackals but you do want to stay up here because it'll stop the bugs from flying in and uh wrecking shop Wrecking shop. Wrecking havoc. Remember when Mr. was our shop teacher? <laughs> he was awesome. 
He was. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> is he alive or dead? I don't even know. <laughs> that laugh is because he's still alive. That's not laughing because he passed away. <laughs> yeah, I say rest in peace. You're like, ha ha, idiot. <laughs> Die. So uh, here you want to reload the fuel rod and shoot the jackals that spawn in, in the elevator as soon as they start coming up. And then you can throw grenades or whatever to kill them all. Uh, we had one left, so I just decided I'd punch him. A little punchy punchy. Yeah, totally. I would have done the same thing. Had I been there. And then and then here you just want to make sure you're topped off up on as much ammo as you can. Um, grenades, all that stuff. Right now we have a... I have a sniper and a carbine, I believe, that I picked up off of the Elite from the first section. And you have a sword and a sniper. And that's a full sniper up here that I'm hovering around. I had a sniper? I don't remember ever shooting it. I don't think you did. <laughs> <laughs> right on. You walked around with the sword for a while. and uh, Yeah, I don't think you shot that much at all in this mission, to be honest with you. Wow, that's weird. Until the end. You didn't have that a reticle never in this happens. mission, that's why. Oh. Yeah. That's... You uh you refused to put a reticle on your screen. Is this one where I like tried to also not shoot the entire mission but then was like I have I to think now. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then uh here just punch your allies to get your shields up as much as you can. And I skipped ahead to once the elevator comes up from the un submerged section. Carbine ammo there for either of you guys. I'm coming up. Whoa. And then uh, just stay back and shoot these little grunts in the little foreheads. The little grunts in the little foreheads. If you shoot them in their big forehead, they won't die. You have to shoot the forehead. Yeah. And I think this part is where that grunt on the front right messed with me. Like, I thought he was dead. And he ended up not being. <laughs> I have a vague memory of that as well. I, there were actually two spots that had that. And I'll point it out when we get to it but oh yeah this one wasn't horrible the other one is terrible <laughs> <laughs> oh there there's one that was throwing a grenade at me that's when i freaked out like i thought i just killed you a little spavs action yeah and then when you feel confident enough just uh proceed into the room proceed with a caution and grunts are great to try and melee but you know, yeah. cuddle up. I like the idea of, like, if those were people, it would be, like, soldiers who brought their kids to work, and you just beat the <laughs> shit out of them. Like, if, like, the Covenant were people. Why do you think they're children? Because they're little. That's really the, how it works in my mind. <laughs> yeah, you should probably just bleep all this out. <laughs> Alright, so here... <laughs> You just want to run into the room and stay on the right side. That guy with the sword was messing us up pretty good every time, so we just decided to punch him and kill him. And then continue through and uh, jump over the hunters, and you won't have to deal with them. And then you want to jump down off the bridge and take care of these elites as handily as possible. Use the sniper or those... You could use the plasma rifles under there as well if you want to. Uh, we took a little bit of time at this section just because you wanted to, well, we wanted you to get your shields up as much as you could because you were beeping. I was beeping. Beep, 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 beep. Headshot. Single kill. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. And, uh... <laughs> Another thing to note is you can time those elite shots because they they have the anger skull on so they'll constantly shoot until it overheats. I think it's like it'll be a long burst, long burst, and then a, like half as long burst, and then it'll overheat so you can close in on them pretty quick. Yeah, you've told me that before too. Here you want to uh, have one person with a sniper. We're giving it to you because you don't have a reticle <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> and then the other person should dual wield some plasma pistols if you want to do the dual wield plasma pistol um, trick on the elites in the next area. 
If you don't want to, it's not that big of a deal, but that's just what we decided to do. And then we didn't even use them, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That's pretty much par for the course for us. There's a full plasma pistol there and then another one on the other side. Here we're coordinating you getting your overshield with that jackal. Sometimes those jackals will be in there, sometimes they won't. We just figured we'd take care of them, or take advantage of them as much as we could. Peekaboo. Yeah, totally <laughs> remember that. I was going to make a joke about something you said, but decided not to, and then I was like at a loss for what you were even saying. <laughs> and then here, if you don't remember, we stood for about 10 minutes trying to figure out how to do a wheel. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember that. Scheme. Oh, we hit but every the button except the appropriate makes it only two one. Seconds. Yeah. I think for us, bumper jump. Have you tried? Have you tried right trigger? Jump. Let's shoot. I, it's not right trigger. Are you sure? Did you try? <laughs> Ours was A. So yeah, it was A for uh, us. And then one of you should grab a sword here if you didn't grab one in the first section, just to make uh, moving boxes or a box around a little easier. And then uh, proceed to the next elevator through here, around the corner, to the right, to the left, to the right. Take it back now, y'all. To the right again, to the right again. I guess you could have just taken a right when you came in the room. <laughs> Two hops this time. All right, here, uh, you want to explain what happened here? I don't know what happened. Just right here. Tempt. Around the other. Oh, the fish! <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was geeking about the fish, actually. <laughs> it's like throwing a fit. A fish threw right, flew, flew, swam, whatever, yeah, I mean, right it, through the it, elevator. <laughs> Once it came in the elevator, you could argue it was flying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here you took out the elite that had the sword using the Sputnik glitch or whatever, where he, you punch them and they turn around, and I jumped up on top of the elevator and jumped up here. There was the grunt that messed with me because I didn't think he was alive, but he was. And then you want to try and kill this grunt before he goes outside, which he just kind of did. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even know why I'm laughing. <laughs> and then these things you can punch for an overshield because it's technically a health thing, like turrets and stuff, but they will blow up, so you'll, you'll get some overshield, but not a full overshield. And there's carbine ammo in that box there. Great and then, uh, I believe you got a... Do? Oh, no. You just recharged your shields. And then this one gives you a double... O or a red overshield, whatever that would be. Single overshield, something like that. A depleting overshield. And then you want to have your... Uh, a sniper and your dual plasma pistols here. And you're going to be taking out some bugs. I think there's four of them, maybe. Uh, who's taking out bugs? If you jump over the doorway coming up here, they won't aggro on you necessarily right away. Right there. And then kind of aim out. It is two sniper shots to the head, or maybe one to the body. I don't know. To take them <laughs> out. I, I don't know if it's like where. He, and I stuck that one. That right was here. one hell of a stick. I don't know if it's like the elites, where as long as you shoot them, they lose shield, or if the bugs literally need two headshots. But just kill them. And then there's some grunts and some elites. When I kill bugs in my house. Usually it's just, like, you can hit them anywhere, and they die. Usually it's just one body shot. One body shot. <laughs> and then you can bring this box to the doorway so you have a little bit of safety uh, to hide behind when you're killing the elites and the grunts. This mission Here sucked. I wasn't a big fan. It did. It did. This is the last, or second to last one that's, like, a longer one. The What's the other longer one? The next one... one I think it's something called, like, Mind Grave, is it? I think it's Gravy Mind. Great Mind. Takes Maybe. place in, no. on Thanksgiving Day in October. Is it? Oh, yeah. that it, it Did it take place in October around Thanksgiving? Yeah, on Thanksgiving Day in October, yes. Okay, yeah. I didn't know Master Chief was a religious guy. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. And he's also Canadian. Oh, so he celebrates Independence Day. In September, yes. Okay. Um, here, you want to kill... <laughs> what? You want to kill the gr grunts and elites as safely as you can. If you use the two plasma pistols, it's just one shot with both of them. Or you have to shoot two at them and then headshot them. You don't have to kill them all right away. <laughs> Fuddling with the what? Fiddling, fuddling, whatever you want to say. Uh, fiddle fuddles. I, I dropped it. <laughs> I, I see that. Yes, you did. And then uh, as soon as you kill enough, a drop ship will come in. And once that happens, you want to kind of wait a second while they start shooting at the drop ship and then you can run, Chief, close in on them. Fuel. We've secured the first tower cluster, so I'll set down there. Call when you're ready for evac. I don't like Jason Kidd. Who? Jason Kidd. Who the hell is that? You know, Jason he was a basketball player. No, I don't follow basketball. I know, but like, I just don't like him. Just if anyone's wondering. Fine player. Don't like him. And then here, just uh, back smack him. Get your shields back. Watch out for your allies. They'll be shooting at him. Yeah, Jesus. And then uh, punch the allies as much as you can. Ah, I'm tough, but dead. Here we're figuring out our weapon situation. Yeah, that was a whole thing. You want to trade a weapon for that sniper because once you kill him, it'll drop half as much ammo. So swap it out first, and then pick it up, or and then kill the guy. And then one of you want to have a battle rifle. And the other one wants a sniper. Well, I guess you could have a battle rifle and a sniper. And then uh, the other person should have the carbine that has any ammo that's left. And then up here, you'll be grabbing rockets once you drop down. Yeah, this is starting to ring a bell now. There is a jackal sniper down here. You want to make sure you take him out as quickly as possible. And then jump down. You got, You want to do this kind of quick. Grab rockets from this section here, or that drop pod, and get down below the gondola. Only one of you has to, and it'll stop enemies from spawning down here. And then uh, here you want to walk into the wall constantly like I'm showing there. Oh, yeah. That was fun, actually. <laughs> the other person wants to walk into the other corner. And keep as much, like, water on your screen as you can. And just keep walking forward with your head down. It'll keep the enemies from seeing you at this part. They can't see your head. They can't see you. Exactly. And as you can see, I have more water on my screen than you. I can... You were like, I can barely see the water, so... Yeah, but you got your throat <laughs> slit, and I was good. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, about halfway through, as you saw there, you have to reactivate the gondola. And then just keep going. Um, this is sped up, I think, 500%. So it does take a while. Yeah, it does. My thumb was sore. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got killed one time. And um, I think I got shot one time, too. But I didn't die that time. And there I was peeking to see, <laughs> <laughs> see if we are good. And he didn't like that, but... Once I then, put my head back like, in the wall. Oh my god, where'd he go? He disappeared. <laughs> and then here, uh, you're at the point, or at the spot that you need to be, and then just kill all the guys that come out of this section. Once they're all dead. <sighs> Once they're all dead. Once they're all dead! <laughs> advance, <laughs> and you'll get a checkpoint and like a cutscene or whatever. I hate this part. The Jetpack Elite takes two snipes. I think the regular Elite was like either the Plasma Pistols, which we couldn't ever hit him with, or I think it takes like seven sniper shots. I I don't remember shooting at those guys. I'm I don't, shocked. I know, you sh I know you shot like a lot at the guys in the archway. Yeah, I mean, I knew and I was doing like, it for no reason. You were missing, like, every bullet because, well, it's a battle <laughs> rifle, so it's not as ac that accurate from this far. 
And I never ridicule, so. Um, I guess it's worth noting, and I'll put a some text on earlier, that you need to have at least one frag during this part, each. Because we're going to be doing a rocket jump, so you want to have a frag and then the rockets that you pick up. That pod in front of me right there closest to me had rockets in as well that you picked up. Which isn't as imperative for the method that we did, but you both can have rockets at this point. Oh, I can't wait to see the method we did. I can't wait to see it either. This is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of method? I don't know. This part was so annoying. This part was a pain in the rear end. That is for sure. Because we got to the end part. <laughs> yeah, then, we did. Well, we got we got a checkpoint after killing these enemies one time, which made us not get a checkpoint at the end part. So it was just so painful. So we reverted our checkpoint by killing ourselves quickly every time, and then we had to do all this stuff again every time. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was about negative ninety-seven thousand. No time, chief. Get inside and take. That's not so bad. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been better. That's true. <laughs> Can't argue with that logic. So there are two big turrets out front here, as you can see on your screen and my screen every now and then. And then there's two small turrets up top there. You want to try and not blow them up with the grenades, just so you can use them for shields. Uh, Yeah, I don't think we ever really ran into the problem where we were blowing them up on accident with stickies. <laughs> but... It's just good, solid advice either yeah, way. Yeah, I don't think you blew up the turrets almost every time. No, it doesn't ring a bell to me, so it must not have happened. <laughs> That's correct. And there, for some reason, you're shooting at that jackal <laughs> without We're a trying to hit the sweet spot <laughs> to get him to turn around and then headshot him. You know how it goes. Yeah, you know, without the... They don't flinch I'm and all that stuff, too. So. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. There, I shot him four times in the hand and finally got him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for I sure like, I could have got him. <laughs> I could have hit him with that battle rifle. Oh, yeah. I think at this point we were going, like, clinically insane. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is the part that I told my woman that, you know, we're all... Almost done. We're at the last section. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not yeah. forgetting about you. <laughs> was it this mission where my wife asked me, like, how much longer? We're like, ah, oh, we're at the end. I don't think it'll be too much longer. And, like, <laughs> yeah. then she asked me again, like, an hour and a half later. I was like, well, obviously we're not done yet, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, it was a good time. Yeah, it was great. Looking back at it, yeah. Hey, the harder the missions are the better it feels to be done. That's true, I guess. <laughs> it's just like, your logic is technically correct. Here you don't have to be that cautious with your sniper ammo and stuff. Uh, just kill them as much as you can. Here's the turrets that you can punch. These take, what did we figure? Nine hits? Nine, I think. Sometimes eleven. Sometimes one when I came jumping. Yeah, just dude, did you do you have that? Did you put that in here? No, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, if you guys play this mission, I have to hit those turrets. He jumps in and kills it in one shot. What? Oh, what no, do you I was think? Gonna it say, was? Maybe it was like damaging it with a grenade first, but it was after we got a checkpoint, so it was always the same health. Yeah, no, you just Yeah, you screwed it up. That was crazy. So don't uh, go uh, close floored. to that big door because that's the when I got close to it, I got the checkpoint the one time, and you don't want the checkpoint yet. Here you're doing the grenade jump, um, gr rocket grenade jump. What we did, because you didn't have a reticle, so you couldn't figure out where to shoot every time. <laughs> and instead of putting the reticle on the screen, we thought this would be easier. Um, but what we did was you did like a regular grenade jump, and I timed it to where the rockets would explode basically at the same time as your grenade would. So we kind of cheated the rocket grenade jump and then i just did the regular one so if one of you is having a difficult time doing the timing with the rocket grenade jump just try it that way and i think we got it almost every time doing it that way yeah yeah i stopped being like your like i'm like your 
like little little cousin or something that wants to play <laughs> with you, but like can't do it on his own, so you have to like come up with creative <laughs> ways to get him through anyway. Well, to be fair, I did the rocket grenade jump once before. <laughs> but I thought little cousin and, so and you know, and you never did it, so you didn't have as much practice with it. And you defend me too. I love it. <laughs> Here, I'm just showing how to lay out this room. You want to push these pillars into these positions. Um, there's four doors down below that you want to block, and a ramp or four ramps and two walkways and the middle ramp and as you could see earlier i said that the final layout was shown at like 2906 so if you want to just skip ahead to that part you'll miss all of our witty commentary we have this is a time to have witty commentary and now i can't even think of anything to say <laughs> um it is a pain in the butt you can splatter yourself be careful because if yeah you, do, you you'll have can. to do the rocket grenade jump again and all that stuff i didn't actually splatter myself I did. After saying, be careful, we're going to splatter ourselves. Immediately <laughs> after. And there was a time I hit you. Yeah, and uh, this was the part... So enemies shouldn't spawn in here as long as you don't go through the main doorway. But one time we did this, they did spawn in for some reason. And, oh, I mean, we don't know why, but just know that it could happen. Uh, 343 was just terrified at how powerful we were becoming. <laughs> Um, it's worth noting that I didn't really, I didn't remember it at the time, but you can use the rockets for a bigger hit. It'll send the stuff fl flying farther, and then your other weapon for smaller hits. And if you hit them lower on the thing itself, it'll send it like into the air more. If you hit it on the top, it'll send it just kind of short. I think you remembered that. You told me that. Well, I remembered it like the fourth or fifth time we were adjusting this room. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I didn't trust myself not to splatter myself with the bigger, like, hits on the rockets. I don't think I even used them anyway. And this is mostly me my screen because you're doing the four doors down below, which is basically the same thing every time. And yeah. then you actually went to, like, the bathroom or something, like, here. So I, uh, I just kept doing it while you were doing that. And you dropped a pillar down below, so I had to have the yeah, I did <laughs> task of bringing it back up for you. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think I was going to the bathroom. I don't remember what I was doing, but I was doing something. Or maybe you're letting your dog out or something. Probably. I was yelling at my wife like, "It's <laughs> almost. It, stop asking me. It's almost done." Here, I almost splattered you with the pillar. Oh no, yeah, not yet. No, Four yeah. Cause when I came back, you were like, "Yeah, you almost died." <laughs> Again, I just wanted to leave this in so. You can kind of see the layout of the room as I'm doing it, just so it's not a huge guessing game and like where they came from and all that stuff. Hey, I'm into it. And what this does is it makes it so the enemies can't pass the certain sections, so you kind of have safe spots. I was very safe the entire last battle. <laughs> Here, I'm checking your doors down below. You want to have the pillars as tight to the door as possible, so run into it a bunch of times. Make sure it's tight, and also make sure it's not on the door frame at all. Like this one you had on the door frame a little bit. Um, so just kind of make sure that it's centered on the door. Oh, I like how you call me out in the video, but you don't even tell me that when we're doing it. Well, I didn't tell you, but I'm kind of glad you had it. There, I almost splattered you. I can't, I'm kind of glad you had it <laughs> kind of cocked a little bit, because then... Uh, it was kind of an example to show them. So you That's did why purpose, I did right? it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Obviously. <laughs> I think I am some kind of fool. <laughs> so then what we found out here is because we had to set up this room three or four times, four or five, whatever it was, we, were, we wanted to get a checkpoint. So, well, and here's the layout. So there's a box on the ramp there and then a pillar above it um, in that walkway there on both sides the rooms this the rooms mirrored so you're gonna have pillars and boxes in the exact same spot on both sides and then two pillars on either side of this little ramp up here and then you come around to the side there's a box there and then a box on the other ramp on the other side make sure you jump up there very important is it? and then all the way down on the bottom there's the two doors there that we put the pillars in front of the doors make sure they're not on the door frame at all they're centered on the door and then two doors down here 
and the ones on the bottom will prevent the elites from coming in the room and the ones on top will give you safe spots and prevent the grunts from advancing on you then when you're ready you want to make sure that this uh this area is free and clear down here because any enemies you didn't kill before coming in will still be in that doorway here and then if you run all the way out it'll spawn the enemies in but it should give you a checkpoint every time so if you if you take that checkpoint and run back in you won't have to deal with any elites from down below we came out here to get you shields and then realized that we uh have to deal with two elites that spawned in down below which isn't a huge deal no i was totally fine. i slowed this down because i showed that you killed the guy and then i punched your overshield away <laughs> did you yeah <laughs> Did I notice? No, I didn't either at the time. <laughs> oh man, that was mean as hell. How, how could I help in this fight now? <laughs> I'll have to stay up here and hide. So there's going to be two sword elites. We already took care of one, and then there was another one over on the other section there. Our pillar got blown up and out of the way, so I quickly push it back to the where it needs to be. And then there's four grunts. Once you kill all four two will spawn back in randomly so there will always be two grunts in the room so just know where they are or you can keep killing them until they're in a section that you want them to spawn in uh we kept trying to kill them and finding a spot but i just decided to progress with the boss just because we had we just got a checkpoint so yeah you know, there's whatever. one time the grunts hit you with a grenade and i screamed at you to move and you were just like Duh? <laughs> and then we had to start over. <laughs> yeah, that was when we had the bad checkpoint, so we had to redo the room. room yeah, again. We, yeah. Looking back, we should have just whatever. Well, um, and we so it is worth cares. noting that they do spawn randomly once you kill them. So, like how Dehangus is over there across from me, there could be one that spawned basically next to him. So as soon as you kill one, make sure you like call it out and you guys look for where they're. Make sure you're safe, like Dehangus is doing right here. For a unique call out, I suggest going. La, 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 la. That is what we use. Yes, it and is. And then for for elites, it's. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's totally exactly what it was. It's a good time. So then you want to board him, and as you're boarding him, you want to throw a grenade. It doesn't matter if it's a sticky or a frag, but it'll like penetrate a shield as you're boarding him, and it'll damage him basically. Here you can see there's some grunts, but no one can beat the oops master. N and that's nobody. <laughs> hey, you killed some. He's, he's beating the regret. <laughs> um, and sometimes there will be elites at the doors down below that is being blocked by those pillars. Just make sure you don't, you know, throw grenades by them. If you throw grenades by them or make them roll into the pillars, they can move the pillar sometimes but we didn't have any issues with that so just be like us see there's an elite there huh. but he can't figure out how to get over a pillar idiot <laughs> and i was just getting messed up but i was like you know what i kind of want to keep a girlfriend so i'm just gonna <laughs> gonna try to kill <laughs> and there he's dead that was Pretty fantastic. Simple. Make sure you tell her she motivated us to get this level done. <laughs> Once you kill them, the enemies don't shoot at you anymore either, I noticed. Because there was a grunt and an elite there that could have killed me, but they didn't. So, uh, on to the next one. On to the next. Goodbye.